thanks for stopping by. Today we'll be making chicken chili in the crock pot. Uh, many of you know uh, white chicken chili and this is a little different version. It's just called chicken chili. So we love this recipe and I hope that you'll follow along because you're gonna want this recipe too. It's delicious. We're gonna start with about two pounds of chicken, and it can be thighs or breasts, but I have um, chicken tenderloins. Normally I use the full-size uh, breasts, so we're gonna shorten the crock pot time here. And we will have some black beans that have been drained, about one can, and one can of Rotel. We like the spice from the green chilies in there. One can of diced tomatoes, and one teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and three tablespoons of ranch mix. Um, if you have the packet, it would be one packet. And then one can of corn that has been drained, um, but I'm gonna use frozen corn, and I have a 10 ounce bag here. And then one eight ounce block of cream cheese and salt and pepper, to season the uh, chicken with. So we'll go ahead and get started dumping this in the crock pot. Okay, for some reason my camera shut off as I was putting everything in, so I'll go back over it for you. Um, I actually put the chicken in and I didn't need to add any liquid because the chicken will make its own juice. And then I added the beans the corn, and then I put the spices in the cumin, the chili powder, and the onion powder, and um, the ranch mix, and then just kind of gave it a little bit of a stir, and then put the cream cheese right on top. I hope that you can see that. And we're going to turn it on low for about six to eight hours. That is what the recipe calls for, but because I have the tenderloins and they're so small, I know it will get done a lot sooner than that. So I'll check with a pro uh, at about three or four hours and see if the chicken's done. So I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, it has actually been about three and a half hours and the chicken is done. So that was almost half the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred or uh, chop up the chicken. Yeah, that's gonna work. That way I don't have to take the chicken out and then shred it and put it back in. The cream cheese just melted right in. That looks very good. We'll go ahead and plate some up. Yummy. I think I'm gonna top it with some sour cream here cheese, some green onion, candied jalapenos or cowboy candy that we made, tortilla strips. Yum, that looks delicious. Now the dilemma, do I use a fork or a spoon? Hmm. It's actually called a soup, but it's more like a stew. So, but thanks for stopping by. I hope that you'll try the recipe, it's delicious. Especially if you like a Tex-Mex um, dish, you can spice it up however you like. So please like and subscribe to the channel. Come back again, we'll see you soon. Oh, remember the directions and recipes are down below in the description. Come back again, see you soon.